Well, hello, and welcome to Rosalie's Kitchen. You know this is a little bit different kitchen that you usually see me in because I'm in beautiful Naples, Florida with my daughter Dana who had her third baby and it was a girl, little Naomi. All right, well today I'm going to make her and you a beautiful peach crusty cobbler because this is the time for peaches. You know, I'm the author of Rosalie's Serving Country and Rosalie's Serving Italian Cookbooks. So. We're going to have fun today, guys. I just can't wait till you taste this gorgeous and most wonderful fruit cobbler. Oh, it's going to be so good. Well, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to start off with our cobbler crust. And if you happen to have my um, country cookbook, you can find this on page 163. So we're going to start off with three cups of flour, which I have right here. Three cups of flour. To that, we're going to add two teaspoons of baking powder and a teaspoon of salt. We're going to go ahead and just put that in there together. Next, we're going to add to this a cup of our Crisco butter flavored shortening, which I just love. It's so good. So we're going to go ahead and add a cup of that, and we're going to work that in to the dough until it's really mealy. And I don't know why they say mealy, but I guess that means it's like, you know, little, uh, kind of like little peas that are in the in the uh, pie crust and in the, in the order of that just so that it's kind of mealy in your fingers and that way you know all of the wonderful shortening has worked into the flour. So we're going to work that now for about five minutes and then we're going to add our milk. Okay so now you can see how that's just kind of broke up into little pieces because we got all that shortening in there. Now we're going to add three-fourths cup of whole milk. And you want to be sure when you're when you're baking and you're cooking to be use whole milk. Don't use skim milk. It won't come out right. Okay, now this is such a great recipe that you can't miss with this cobbler crust. You can see how nice and soft this is going in. It's coming together just perfect. And with those uh, same ingredients that I gave you, the three cups of flour, uh, the two teaspoons of the baking powder, teaspoon of salt, and your three-fourths cups of milk. This is just perfect. And you, you don't want it any more perfect than that. You don't even need to work it anymore. It's coming together beautiful. And there is your cobbler crust. Now, if you like a bottom crust on your cobbler, you can do that. Today we're just going to do the top crust. And that will give us uh, some more dough that we can make uh, some of those wonderful pastry cinnamon roll-ups. Oh, I just love those. So you can see how beautiful that is coming together. It's all so pretty and it's just perfect. Couldn't be any more perfect. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and put a little bit of flour on our board right over here. And we're going to roll this out to a nice thick piece so that it will um, go right over our 13 by 9 inch. We're going we're gonna to do a little bit extra, a little bit maybe more than half. Make that into a disc, just like so. And remember how I said this dough just is beautiful, it goes together. There's your dough. You want to put it on both sides. A little bit of flour, sprinkle your flour. And then we're going to go ahead and roll this to a 9 by 13 pastry. Okay? We're just going to keep flipping as we go. Make sure that there's flour on both sides. This is going to be a nice big thick piece for that top of that cobbler. And as I said, if you'd like to have a bottom a bottom piece to your cobbler, just go ahead and put this line this on the bottom and put a top on. All right. Okay, so now we're going to get ready with our peaches. Look at these beautiful homegrown peaches that we have right here. You want about eight to nine cups of sliced peaches. To that we're going to add two heaping uh, cups of sugar. You can always add more after you taste it and see if you like it a little sweeter. We're going to add a fourth cup of flour to that. And we're going to add three teaspoons of quick cooking tapioca. This is going to make this uh, cobbler so good. And there's our tapioca. Okay, we're going to go ahead and just give that a little bit of a mix. And then we're going to add to that a fourth cup to a half, a, I mean a fourth teaspoon to a half teaspoon of ground cinnamon. So we're going to go ahead and add our, I'll go ahead and add a half a teaspoon to that. Then we're going to add a teaspoon of vanilla 
and we're going to put that right in there now, a teaspoon of vanilla. Then we're going to add a fourth teaspoon of our almond extract, and I love this, this flavor. It is just going to make this pie wonderful. So you want to go ahead and put that in, a fourth teaspoon of that. And now we're just going to go ahead and turn this real good, put it on the stove for about five minutes just to get a small, gentle boil in there so that all the syrup comes together. And to that we're going to add three tablespoons of butter. Oh my goodness, this is going to be just so great. Alright, we're going to go ahead and put that on the stove just for about five minutes and get a little bit of a gentle boil going, okay? So here we are back guys and look at this beautiful peach filling that we have here. And this will fill your 9 by 13 cobbler pan very nicely. And now we're going to, what we're going to, whoops, lost our spoon there. And now what we're going to do is go ahead and place our lovely crust right over the top of this. And we're going to try to do that without transferring it right over. It should go very nicely for you. And just unwrap that. It's a nice thick crust. And as I said, if you'd like a little bit more crust, you can always add more to that. Okay, and I think I've got a fork over here. I'm going to go ahead and just go ahead and poke that a little bit. So we'll have some steam escape. And then we're going to sprinkle it with sugar. And be liberal about that sugar. We want a nice sugar crust on there. Okay, we're going to pop this in a 400 oven for about, I'm going to say 35 to 40 minutes. Uh, depending on your oven, it might be five minutes less or more. And there's your beautiful peach cobbler. So let's see how that comes out. All right, see you in a little bit. Bye. Here we are, guys. Are you guys ready? Wow, look at this pop, bubbly hot cobbler. Oh my goodness, is that not beautiful? And it's all ready for our party tonight. We're going to put it right in here in our carrying case. And it is bubbly. That was 400 at 35 minutes. Wow, we just got to have a taste. Oh my goodness, this is so good. And it's just right. Look at those peaches in there. Mmm. Wow. Can't wait till we get into this. All right, guys. You all have a great rest of the summer. And be sure to make this peach crusty sugar cobbler. You're going to just love it. I always love having uh, you come to my kitchen. All right. See you again.